What's up chickies? It's Baron. Today we're going to be doing a video on the Banu Merchantman again. I know I'm doing a lot of content on this but I've just been covering this because everyone wants to know more or just wants more content on the Banu Merchantman before it comes out so I don't know what it's all about but we're just going to be talking about it a little bit today and the reason being is that I want to just talk about the weapons that are on the Banu Merchantman because a lot of people don't seem to know or um, exactly understand why, but the weapons on a Banu Merchantman will change the way we see weapons in Star Citizen. It's going to change, I feel like it will change the foundations of weapons in Star Citizen. It's just going to change everything, the way we look at it, and the, the capital ships that we verse now are probably going to change and evolve as well. That's another thing people don't realize is that, yeah, we have size 7s, like on the Ion and the Inferno, but we don't have dual size 8s and the size 5 that we have at the top and those uh, point defense weapons at the bottom, like they do on the, on the Merchantman. Like, this thing is armed to the teeth. People don't understand how armed this thing really is. Like, it's pretty insane as to how many weapons it's got in it. Um, but I also feel like they're going to make another ship that was the size of the Banu Merchantman because obviously it was a blockade runner and now that this is so big it's like sort of on capital level we may see another ship from the Banu um, have the same size as what the Merchantman used to be so we'll see what becomes of that but today I just want to really want to touch on the weapons <coughs> people it's you can make an assumption I can make an assumption, we can all make an assumption, but at the end of the day, we know that size 8s are going to change the game. That thing there on the front of the Idris is a size 10. The ones on the Javelin, they're four size 9s, each one. Four size 9s, just think about that for a little while. Then you've got the Polaris, obviously it's just going to be an absolute weapon of a ship. It doesn't have weapons as big as the Merchantman, but it is going to be a missile silo like it's just gonna have so many like torpedoes i guess you could, yeah they're torpedoes then you got the nautilus with another again it's got its massive weapons at the front there again it's supposed to be i think it's dual size sevens at the front <clears throat> people don't realize this that that is literally two Ares sitting on the front of that ship this is going to be incredibly well armed i do have one in my fleet now i have melted my idris for now but I, that will be coming back to the fleet uh, along with the idris k kit but i just want you guys to know that beyond what we have now the weapons that we have on the 600i are some of the best like size fives you don't even have to have them as size fours i take in the size i take the size fours and the gimbal off of it and put the size fives on it i mean this thing is easily maneuverable you've got the you've also got the redeemer so with the redeemer we've got a lot of weapons on that you've got ballistics which can be turned into laser weapons it's all dependent on how you want to look at things and how you want to do it um it just the ships that you want to use it's very open right now and really what i want to say is with the merchantman coming out once those size eights come in and we start doing uh, idris missions and we start doing things like xeno threat then the data will really come out about how powerful those weapons are going to be obviously they will be tachyon cannons i would presume people are saying oh the tachyon cannons aren't in the game anymore well they're there they're just not as powerful as what they are supposed to be because people whinged a lot about it and they nerfed them obviously that's what happens they nerf them so before you go making an assumption or anything go read the law things are supposed to really stick by the law and yeah it's just one of those things that has to be done it just has to be like written by the law the game has to sort of abide by that's why they bring it out really i mean that's why we get some of the ships that we get because it's in the law so Seeing that the size of the Merchantman isn't far from the Idris P, because the Idris P is like a meter longer than it, they only put it 242 there because obviously they're still counting the length of the railgun there, that's what a lot of people don't realize. But again, the Merchantman, once it comes out, the data will really come out and stick around and it's just gonna it'll probably change cig's mind a little bit because as we do know the idris that we are versing now is a little bit nerfed down obviously a lot of the ships that we are versing at the capital are nerfed down because of the fact that they are so ridiculously powerful when they will be fully armored and fully shielded that we just won't be able to attack them and i think they're gonna actually they may actually turn 
the strength of the Idris up once the Merchant Man is out because people will be using so many of them with those size 8s that they may even nerf the size 8s or they may increase the strength of the Idris and there may we may see a refactor of the entire shield and armor system once the armor's out an entire weapon system it's just it feels like it's going to be a game changer it's going to change the entire system and that's why i was talking about will the merch man be nerfed because people aren't really thinking about the data behind this and what could be um done with it more or less with the weapons and how this ship is just going to be such an absolute powerhouse with the weapons and everything that it can do it's just like i said it's going to change star citizen one way or another it's going to change the game the way we play the way we combat and everything else that is coming in it's just going to change the whole game and i just want to know what you guys think down in the comments because that is my opinion that is what i think and i feel like that it is probably pretty close to the truth it might not be but again it's gonna be pretty uh, full on once this comes out I, I can see that we're gonna have a lot of issues with small ships getting destroyed but again this is going to be sub capital or capital and it may change the fact that the way we play the game the way we see ships uh, just the way we see combat like it might be as slow as the 890 jump but it might not be it's just one of those things that's an infinite variable that may change all the time the ship's going to be changing all the time the system's going to be changing until they find a nice little sweet point for everybody but that's pretty much all we wanted to talk to you about today it's been barren i hope you enjoyed this let me know down in the comments join our discord use my referral code everything is in the description we'll see you in the verse